In this video, let me list down all the possible properties that can be applied to a flex container. First, we have the display property. This is what defines a flex container and is mandatory to work with Flexbox. Next is flex direction. It defines the direction in which the flex items are placed in the container. Third, we have flex wrap, which is used to control the wrapping of items within a container. We then have flex flow, which is a shorthand for the combination of flex direction and flex wrap. Then there is justified content that defines the alignment of the items along the main axis. Similarly, we have the align items property, which defines how flex items are laid out along the cross axis. Finally, we have the align content property. This is similar to justify content with the difference being this will align along the cross axis instead of the main axis. Also, align content works only when there are multiple rows of flex items in the container. All right, now that we know the properties that can be applied to a flex container, let's take a closer look at each of the properties starting with the display property.